Two U.S. Marines accompanied James Kalstrom's ashes from St. Patrick's Cathedral, and New York's Cardinal Dolan said the mass. Jim spent a life in service to others. Former Governor Pataki among the prominent political figures paying respects. After September 11th, I made him the first head of Homeland Security for the state of New York. Rudy Giuliani said Kalstrom wiretapped five mafia godfathers. The commission case would not have happened without him. But Kalstrom will always be best known as the local FBI boss who led the investigation of TWA Flight 800. We haven't seen the evidence of a criminal act forensically or any other way. The 747 exploding in the sky over Santa Mariches on July 17, 1996, 25 years ago, killing all 230 on board. It looked like an arc of light and then everything came down. Your heart breaks when something like that happens. <laughs> You have concerns about terrorism, concerns about mechanical failure. A thousand FBI agents worked the case with the National Transportation Safety Board. It was a painstaking investigation. I mean, they reconstructed the plane. U.S. Navy divers retrieved 95 percent of it, diving into 120 feet of water. They were the real heroes of this operation. <laughs> they worked round the clock, 180 divers, till they picked every body up. 16 months later, the CIA assisted Kalstrom by creating animation that explained gas vapors in TWA's center fuel tank caused the explosion and not the widely touted theory that a U.S. Navy missile shot the jet down while conducting tests. Kalstrom retired from the FBI soon after. He upgraded the standards of the Bureau to make it better for everybody. And today we're honoring a good and decent man. Kalstrom was a Vietnam vet who developed a rare blood cancer tied to Agent Orange, his wife told mourners. Our battle lasted 12 years. Santa. And to the end, he was a proud military man. His work with the Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation, providing college scholarships to thousands of children. That's the legacy James Kalstrom would truly like to be remembered for. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.